I'd like to thank Mintwolves on Reddit for suggesting the topic of this video today. He has made a great write-up on the topic on the Unresolved Mysteries subreddit. I will leave a link to his post in the description box below if you want to read up on it. In the city of Swansea located in Wales, David Hampson, also known as the Silent Man, has been repeatedly blocking oncoming traffic by standing on a road outside the Swansea Central Police Station and once arrested, he says nothing. The 51-year-old has been doing this since 2014 and has been jailed for traffic obstruction nine times over the years. He hasn't offered any explanation as to why he keeps doing it and has not provided any defense or explanation during his numerous court trials. The first of these series of traffic obstructions began in 2014 when he received a two-year conditional discharge for obstructing the road on four counts. He kept doing it and he was convicted in the Crown Court of Public Nuisance the following year. He was also made the subject of a criminal behaviour order. This meant that if David Hampson were to breach the court order and continued to obstruct traffic, he could be imprisoned for up to four years. However, this didn't stop the silent man as he kept reoffending. At one point, Hampson draped himself over a Royal Mail van's front bonnet with his face pressed against the windscreen and his arms stretched wide. Imagine what that driver felt at that moment. Anyway, he was handed out sentences in 2016, 2017 and 2018. He also, for some unusual reason, set his prison cell on fire while serving one of these sentences. Hampson kept quiet as usual when questioned about the fire. The latest incident took place on the 3rd of December 2020 when police were notified to a man standing in the middle of a road blocking oncoming traffic in the same place just outside the Swansea Central Police Station. As usual, he provided no response when the police cautioned him or when he was charged. He kept this up at the Swansea Magistrates Court and at the hearing at Swansea Crown Court. In the Crown Court, the jury had to decide whether David Hampson was mute of malice, meaning that he could speak but he chooses not to, or mute by visitation of God which means there are either mental or physical issues that is preventing him from speaking. Hampson has been seen communicating to others and a police officer reported that Hampson had asked for a cup of tea. Prison guards have also claimed that Hampson has spoken to them requesting certain items. The jury decided that he was mute of malice and he therefore breached the criminal behaviour order again. British courts are more used to defendants who are unfit to plead due to mental disorders rather than those who simply choose not to speak even though they are able to. This causes difficulties for the court in arresting the convicted. The common law solution to this in the olden times were to subject the mute defendant to pain for to Jew. This was a method of torture which involved the defendant laying on the ground and heavier and heavier weights placed on them until they either died or enter a plea. Fortunately, those days are long gone but the court still has difficulties dealing with cases like David Hampson. It is likely that there are some mental health issues going on with David Hampson and there have been attempts for him to be assessed by psychiatrists. Back in 2016, the court ordered Hampson to be assessed by two psychiatrists. According to the Mental Health Act 1983, anyone charged with an offence can be detained and treated in hospital if two doctors can agree that the person charged is suffering from a mental health condition. In this case, one of the doctors stated that Hampson was suffering from schizophrenia, while the other doctor stated that he didn't suffer from any mental disorders and was simply an attention seeker. This meant that Hampson couldn't be treated in a hospital. There was another attempt to get him assessed by psychiatrists after his latest incident in December of 2020. However, Hampson refused to speak to the doctor appointed to him and no information could be gathered. This led to the court ordering for Hampson's medical records to be produced and assessed by the doctor, hoping that it would shed some light into Hampson. The doctor concluded that Hampson could speak but chooses not to, but there may be other factors such as financial stress that could contribute to his choice of staying mute. So why does Hampson keep obstructing traffic? Well, the theory that makes the most sense is that he is comfortable in prison. 
Since Hampson is homeless and has been said to have financial stress, he could prefer the shelter, meals and a clean shovel that a prison provides him. If this was the case, it is a bit bizarre why he went through the trouble of setting his cell on fire. However, the likely explanation for this was that Hampson was simply trying to extend his prison sentence. Another theory is that Hampson does have some sort of mental disorder, or maybe it's a mix of both. Hampson could have a mental disorder and seeks prison as an escape from the real world. Until Hampson speaks up about what his problems are and why he keeps obstructing traffic, why he has done what he did is anyone's guess.